In the heart of the Sahara, the sun rises like a dull blade, cutting through the morning haze. The landscape seems empty, as if nothing could survive here. No grass, no river, not even the ghost of a forgotten trail. But in 2018, when a group of researchers crossed a stretch of land near southwestern Libya, something caught their attention. It was subtle at first, just an outline in the sand, the sort of shape the desert usually swallows without hesitation. As the wind shifted, a pattern emerged. Not a natural pattern, but geometry. Straight lines, curved walls, the faint footprint of something planned. The team knelt, brushing away the sand with gloved hands, and soon what lay beneath them changed everything. Archaeologists thought they knew about this barren region. They had uncovered the remnants of a massive stone structure, one that predated many known Saharan settlements. The walls were arranged in spirals and concentric circles, almost like a prehistoric observatory. But what puzzled them most was the orientation. The entire structure aligned with the sunrise and sunset of the summer solstice. Not a random accident, but a deliberate design. Over the next few months, the excavation revealed tools, stone grinders, pottery shards, and pieces of engravings depicting cattle, rivers, and storms. These weren't the relics of desperate desert wanderers. They were the belongings of a thriving culture that lived here when the Sahara was still green, thousands of years before the dunes took over. Scientists would later call this place a forgotten hub of the Green Sahara civilization, a reminder that the desert was once a homeland, rich with lakes, wildlife, and organized communities. The unexpected part wasn't the structure itself. It was the realization that an entire chapter of human history had been buried under endless sand. The desert remembered, even when we forgot. And in this first discovery, the truth became clear. The earth keeps secrets longer than any empire ever could. 